mind. Baby, you know that you're fine. I'm just trying to make you mine. Trying to make you mine. Yeah, I'm trying to make you mine. Put a tingle in your spine. We got a vibe. We got a way. You should ride on it. All of the places I could take you, girl, is limitless. So if you've never been, girl, I would just love to take you there. You don't have to worry about a thing. I gotta let me show you better than on today's um video is going to be on this makeup look that i am wearing right here and <laughs> i am so obsessed with this look um i don't know what i'm gonna call it yet um i use a couple of products that i had and that i hadn't used in a while and this is what i came up with i am really feeling like victoria's secret bombshell type of look i'm just missing my curls but it's okay so like I said, I used a bunch of products that um, I had picked up a while back and that I haven't got a chance to use. And so I use them in this tutorial. And if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and thumbs up this video if you liked it. And don't forget to comment down below and subscribe to my channel. Um, I have a giveaway coming up soon, so be on the lookout for that. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe so you can be updated with that. So I'm not going to ramble too long. If you guys want to see how I created this nice and bold, and smoky and sexy look then go ahead and keep watching so first off we're just gonna start off with the brows already done and I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay primer potion you guys know that this is my favorite primer potion and we're just gonna put this all over my eyes um, this is just gonna ensure that my shadows stay all day and last long and don't crease so I'm just gonna blend that out with my finger and just keep it pushing you use a brush but I'd rather use my finger and so then going into the Tartlet palette, I'm going to take this shade right here and I'm going to use that to set my primer. Um, I usually set my primer just because when I go on with the first cover, I don't want any skips. I just want it to be smooth transition. <laughs> Next, we're gonna go in with this shade right here called Rebel, and this is gonna be my transition shade. I mean, you want to make sure you always start off with the transition shade, so when you go on with other colors, it it makes everything blend out. And like I said, I love warm shades in my crease. I just feel like it makes any look beautiful. Um, like I said, just make sure you start off with a transitional shade. It's gonna make everything blend in. And trust me, you always want to start off with the transition. Shade. Next, I'm going in with this Maybelline Tattoo um, Cream in the shade Black. And I'm just going to use this as a base for my black shadow that I'm going to go in with next. Um, I love using cream base and then adding a shadow on top. It's going to make the look super, super dark and it's going to just adhere. The shadow is going to adhere to that cream. So I'm just taking it here and I'm just packing it on there um, all the way up to my crease. Not going any higher than that transition color not any higher than that crease area and I'm just blending that out so then I'm gonna go into my naked 2 palette and I'm gonna take the black shade in there and I'm just going to pack that black shade all on top wherever I put that cream shadow and this is just gonna make the look more darker and more smokier and I just love the way that this look came out You just want to take any of your blending brushes that you have and this is the most de dedicated part of this look you want to make sure you blend out you want to make sure you blend 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 if your hands are not hurting at the end of blending you didn't do it right and that's how I go about it like you want to just make sure you blend and with the power of editing it looked like I didn't blend that long but I really did my hands was aching so you just want to make sure you blend that out and then I'm gonna take this Stila Magnificent Eyes um, foil shadow and this is in the shade vintage gold vintage black gold I think yes vintage black gold and I'm just gonna take this on my finger because I really like how it applies on the finger and I'm just going to press this on um, where I put that black shade in. and as you can see it's making it super super metallic and it is exactly with the look that I'm going for so just again just pack this on all onto the lid and 
now taking the shade leader from the Tarte and Bloom palette. I'm just going to go in and I'm just going to put that right on top where I place the um, first shadow, the first shadow, my transition color. I'm basically just going to put that right on the top and then I'm going to go in with this little blending brush and I'm going to take the black again and I'm just going to go ahead and deepen up that crease just a little bit to make the look look a little bit more smokier than what it already is and what it's going to become. I just feel like this just made the look. And next going in back into that palette I'm going to take the color Flower Child and I'm just going to go ahead and place that on my brow bone. If you've been watching me for a long time now um, you guys know that I love a matte bone color for my brow bone highlight. I'm going to go in with some lashes. I'm going to stack two lashes together and I'm just going to go ahead and do those off camera. And now I'm just going to prime my face with the Smashbox Primer Water. I really, really love this primer. As you guys can tell, it's almost gone. So I'm going to prime my face and then for foundation, I'm going to use the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I've fallen in love with this foundation the first time I tried it. I didn't know how I felt about it but as I tried it, tried it and like I fell in love with it. So I'm just going to blend this out with my Real Technique sponge. And next I'm going to be trying out a new concealer that I just picked up. This is the Tarte Shape Tape uh, Concealer and that's a big wand that's why I made that face and this is in the color deep um, I really like my concealers to be a little bit more yellower than this and you'll see in the next couple clips that I I can't decide which concealer I'm gonna use I'm gonna also go in with the born this way concealer and I'm you know I'm definitely gonna go in with my trusty 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 urban decay um, naked skin concealer as you will see here in the next clip I'm just like this is not giving me enough highlight that I want Next, I'm just going to take my CoverGirl um, setting powders in the shades um, Translucent Medium and Translucent Honey. And I'm going to use the Translucent Medium to set under my eyes. Um, I got this from a recommendation from a fellow YouTuber and I'm so obsessed with it. I cannot put it down. It's replaced a lot of stuff that I've been using to set. And I've also gone ahead and got the color to match my face. And that's what I will be using in this video to go ahead and set the rest of my face. 
Next, going in with my CoverGirl bronzer in Ebony Bronze. Um, guys, I'm looking for recommendations for more bronzers. I love a bronzer that is more redder tone for me. So if you guys have any recommendations, go ahead and list them down. But this is my favorite bronzer as of now. And I'm just going to use this to bring a little bit of life back into my skin and bronzing all over my skin skin so next i'm just going to take the profusion this is one of my newfound faves um if you guys um seen my haul i will link it down in the description box i'm just going to take this dark shade right here and i'm just going to use this shade to contour my cheekbones and make my face look a little slim you guys know the deal And now I'm just going to take that same translucent medium powder and I'm just going to reverse contour. And that is just basically just carving out your contour to make it more prominent and more on fleek. And so, yes, I'm just going to use that to go ahead and carve out my cheekbones. Then going in with this City Colors blush that I mentioned in a haul recently. This is in the shade Toasted Coconut, I believe. And I'm basically just going to go ahead and put these on the apples of my cheekbones. with the Anastasia Glow Kit in that glow. I'm going to take the shade right here. This is dripping in gold and I am going to drown myself in highlighter because you guys know how I love highlighter. I'm just going to spray a little bit of the Smashbox Primer Water on my brush and I'm going to dip in and I'm going to be highlighted to the gods. As you all know if you've been watching me for a while now you guys know I love highlighter and highlighter is my favorite part of makeup I do believe I think it is I think so so then next I'm just gonna take my Marc Jacobs um, gel um, liner thing that I got in a birthday sample and I'm just going to basically just put this on my waterline I really 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 love this gel liner um, I haven't used anything else since I've gotten this one and this is definitely going to be one of my repurchases for me because it's super creamy and it's, I just love it and then going back into Rebel and Leader and I'm going to go ahead and smoke out the bottom lower lash line I'm going to do whatever I did to the top I'm going to do to the bottom so I'm also going to go in with that black too going in with the Stila um, shadow again and I'm just going to basically highlight the inner parts of my eyes and like I said again I'm just going to take this on this little double sided brush and I'm definitely just going to put that in the inner corners. Next, I'm going to go in with my telescopic mascara, and you guys know the deal with this. I'm just basically going to top coat the lashes with this one. I'm going in with my Maybelline Master Fix. I'm just going to spray my face so everything sets in place and everything can melt together. And if you guys didn't know, NYX just came out with a couple new products. They just came out with some suede lip liners and lip, new lipsticks. This is the suede lip liner in Mason. And then I'm also going to go in with a new NYX Velvet Matte Lippy in the shade, what is this shade? Uh, Duchess. Oh my god, y'all. This color is so bomb. And that looks like the look guys if you guys enjoyed this video go ahead and thumbs up this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because i have some good things coming up and i'll see you guys in my next video